Yeah. I'll be I'll be upset when I go back to one set up me. Sell, selling one of my gaming setups. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. I might be missing a oh, we are live now. We are live on Facebook. There we go. We're live. Good evening, everyone. As you can see, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a bunch tonight. Uh, I don't know what me and Mark have let ourselves in for, but um, it is going to be an awesome night. We are joined by Beth, Caps and Molly, members of the all-conquering, all-winning, everybody. They kicked everybody's ass in League One, including that miserable cow that played for Illingworth in the final who, took, who decided to take her ball and go home. What an unsportsman shit. I'm sorry, but she was evil. I'm Which sorry, one? I've never set anybody in my life. Mm -hmm. like she was four years old and somebody had been told her that she's got to go to bed. Which one? The one that's got red carded at the very end? She got red carded, yeah. Oh, that blonde girl. That's her. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Good evening, you ladies. Value, you got values or you don't? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've lost the final. <laughs> yeah, go, go away. Uh, evening, how you been? All good, thank you. Good. <laughs> Training well? Training going well? It's it's cold. We've done one so far. It's like a like a touch one that we've done. Uh, the OLP, and then uh, sorry, I'm trying to sort the cat out. She's just yeah. We've got we've got another one on Wednesday, so that'll be good. Looking forward to that. Getting back to playing league. Oh, is anybody? Uh, is any? Have you had any new members? Any new members joined? Not yet. We've got um. There's like an open training session in January, so I think they'll probably come to come to that. And we are also joined by a superstar because she goes on other podcasts now. She starts on ours and now she's going on all over the place. Is Molly. Hi, guys. This is I, always my home. This will be my home channel. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know what gets Sorry. me? I'm out. I've just realised all my shirts behind me are all older than these women. Well, they're all older than the ladies. Oh, dear. That shows you how bad I am, isn't it? Shows you how old we both are. Yeah. So, what do you think? We just had caps early on, but what do you think to the new kits? I like them. Smart. Yeah, I like them as well. I, I'm definitely a team home shirt this season. Yeah, I think so as well. So we were talking to caps, and she was more like she wanted a more black one instead of the white, really. So, um, really? So, yeah. So I, I prefer I prefer a dark bottom than than a. Oh, do you mean shorts? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah makes sense. Mr. Hannigan, can we get these girls in dark coloured shorts for the season, please? Yes, please. Yes, please. I think it, I think the away kit has got red shorts, or has it got Yeah, but we don't shorts? we don't have away kit. We only have home. Yeah, ones. we've only got away kit. Oh right, yeah. okay. But you can raise that too, please. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this, is, are you gonna have all all the all on? O'Neill's uh, gear this year, like the like what the uh, first team lads have got. They're just gonna get all your hoodies and everything like that. Yeah, we in, do. Uh... We do have some bits of that. Yeah, the only thing we don't have is the um, is the away kit, but the training stuff we uh we do have that. Right. And we're trying to get some uh some windproof jacket and all that stuff as well. So it's only winter training. God, Benny, you train most way through the summer, don't you? What's going on? Yeah, there? but you train you train the hardest in winter and it's freezing. And then when I it's know. in summer or when it's a bit chilly or you know, before you warm up, you just yeah, it's nice not to warm up in your in your oh. kit though. I just I mean, I'm 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 old school. I remember doing everything in the winter, so it's it's second nature to me. But uh it's uh it's nice to have everybody on. It's uh, right, right. So Looking back now at this season, before Mark gets in with him, did you really? Did you think that what you achieved at the start, of, what you've achieved at the end of the season, you thought about it at the start? What was the goals at the start of the season? Because you couldn't have dreamed that you couldn't have dreamed of a season like you had, did you? I mean, it was. I remember the very, very first training we had at um, at the uh, in Nilsborough. Oh. Yeah, and uh, there was a lot of girl. Like honestly, great turnout. Pretty much, I think 17, 20 of us were there. Uh, some of us never played rugby. Some that were experienced in union. 
Uh, I've never played league, for example, so it was completely new for me. When they asked me to play the ball, I was like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> um, there is a lot of things that we didn't expect like to catch on that fast. And because I think we were lucky enough to have girls with union skill that stayed and glued that group together with the basic skill of rugby, which is the same for everyone that plays rugby, how to pass properly, how to move on the field, etc. Uh, it was just a matter of learning the few rules of league and then we were just, yeah, we just discovered that we actually had something going on here. But I was never expecting to win the league. But I didn't, we didn't know also the level of the other team, so. Yeah. Beth, what was your, what was your goals? What did you think what would happen with goal as well? Well, as I, didn't, I didn't expect anything, to be honest. I thought we were just going to go and have some fun and see what happened and then obviously um, I think we were all in the very first game of the season when we played at Wigan I think we were all very surprised coming away from that game how sort of successful we were and how sort of much we actually could play rugby and then um, obviously the next game was the was the Swinton game um, Molly remembers that well um, no, no. And, uh, obviously we, we got beat by Swinton and I think that sort of knocked us a bit and I don't I think at that point we weren't expecting to sort of win the league but I think we sort of put the training in and it and it and it paid off so we um, I think it helped because we were all we're all sort of quite a close group so I think we've sort of gelled really well yeah. Molly did you think of anything um well like Caps and Beth both said there um I think we we all kind of expected to just see how it went and we were all in it for the fun and we were lucky that we gelled quite quickly and we went into it with open heads and uh, I think that was one thing that definitely carried us throughout the season that how open-minded we were and we just tried to take us best onto the field and and kind of see what happened and like Liam says it's it's just it's a game of rugby and it's a different team in a different colour shirt it would just we play the same and we take it to them um and yeah, also thanks Beth for giving me fond memories of went in a way. Yeah, love that for us. It was a, right. it was a, it was a, it just a lovely, I don't know, induction to rugby, Molly. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what, 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 come on. Come on, what's happened? What's this thing? Really, really, and it was, and it was, I believe it was you two that closed yeah. that. So they literally head bombed <laughs> each other. So Molly ended up with a concussion and not being able to play for, for two weeks. Oh. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, at the moment we've got we've got record views at the moment. You've done it again, girls. You've done you've smashed it. Uh, Matthew Hudson says good evening, everyone. Tasha says evening, beautifuls. Oh, she's talking to me and your mum. Up. See, oh, she's well, well, yeah. Well, there well. we go. Yeah, yeah, we've got his best faces yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, Lucy <laughs> Hannigan saying oi oi Molly. Chloe saying good evening. Uh, Kate's asked Mrs. Sheffield Eagles. Kate, she's already in with a question, so we'll get to them in a sec. Mm. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's going crackers so far. It's because they've they've missed us. They've missed us, and they all suddenly come back and hey, yeah. Um, but uh, thanks very much for doing this. Uh, go on, Mark. I'll get, let you have a go now. That's fine, mate. I'm just uh, you. You get the question. <laughs> well, Please, I've got the questions. questions. You I go. don't get to see. It. I just I just sit here. Yeah. I just want to say a big thank you. Um, anyway, ladies, for for joining us. It's always um always a, always a joy to uh, uh to speak to anybody involved in the club. Uh, we've talked about the highlights. Um, what are what do you think? You know, looking forward into next year, what's the goals for next year? Now, obviously, there's going to be a step up because we've got a promotion. But what's the realistic target improvement? Have you sort of said we want to win this many games, or is it just a case of seeing what is there and then and then going from there? Have you have you spoke about that yet, or is it just going to be see how it is? Um. I think I think we all know that it's going to get harder. We all know that training needs to get harder in order for uh, a lot of girls to get used to, you know, a stronger game. Because I think we played phenomenal this year, but I do believe that we didn't have as much. Uh, I'd say how how would I put that nicely? <laughs> we didn't have as much competition as I thought we would. Uh, at some point there were some big hits there were some big girls freaking hell I remember it half like during that semi-final that girl didn't let me go uh but it's the part of the game but I think we need 
we need to approach this season a lot more, I'd say, um, realistically, as it's going to get harder. Um, we will have, um, I don't know yet what the squad is going to be, but the girls that I've already experienced last year needs to come, like, we're going to come from zero. And I hope, I really hope, that we can get mid-table, which for me is already rewarding because we've gone so far with no experience. So being mid-table for me would be would be acceptable. Molly? Great, that's excellent. Yeah, but, um, yeah I couldn't have said it better, to be honest, uh, like Cap said. I think aiming for mid-table, um, I think... Definitely, if we put our minds and bodies to it and we train hard and we work hard and we gel together like we have done this season and we approach things um, how we have, but just up the level a bit and up the ante a bit more, we'll definitely um, we'll definitely reach mid-table, I'm saying. Yeah, you've got a, you've got a person who agrees. Tasha's in the room. She says, I agree, I agree, totally agree. Uh, Daniel's saying, hi, guys. Daniel Burt, hi, guys. He says, hi, and everything, so... <laughs> Chloe's saying evening. Uh, the chat room flown away again this, this evening. Uh, Beth, what's yours? Did you have any uh, things to uh, Yeah, you? well, I suppose it's just similar. I think um, I watched the, <clears throat> obviously, after our game, there was the um, the championship playoffs. Um, and I sort of caught a bit of that. Um, and you can you can definitely see that there is a there is a really big step up from League One to the championship level of like the, the quality of rugby is there's a big step up there. So I think um, it'll be sort of about making sure that we've got the commitment and we've like making sure that we're do, like committing to trainings and um, doing that. And hopefully we will be able to get that sort of mid mid table um, at the end of next season. I think it's just, um, if I can add to this, because I, some people that were at the final uh, also watched the uh, the game after after us, and uh, one of the my my sponsor, for example, told me, I mean, you've done some pretty good hit with your team, and he's not seen much difference uh, in the hit in the second game. So, I think for us, it's more of reorganize the game the way we want it, um, mm. being a lot more organized and knowing a bit better what we're doing because. We have a lot of skills in this team between the strength, the speed. Uh, we've got it all. We just have to reorganise that to make sure that we play our best 80 minutes every game. Yeah. So it's definitely when, I mean, what do you guys think to it this year? Because Eagles have now advertised the fact that the, you buy a season ticket and you get all four club, all four teams games at once. I've never been, I mean, me and Mark, we sat on what when on the occasions I came up and when I came up and just saw the games, it was like I've never seen so many people saying, Right, we want to get early. I've never, never ever been involved with Shepherd Eagles where I've seen so many people wanting to get in the ground for half past twelve. Never yeah. in my life. It's just been, oh, we're going there, we're gonna support them. They've got the they've got the shirt on, let's go. Boom. And the, the fact that yeah, so the standalone semi-final at OLP, I was absolutely blown away by how many people were there. I, I expected 150, 200. And then when I got there, and it was basically, <laughs> it was just like being at a men's home game. And that's not a disrespect. It was genuinely just like being at a men's home game. And everybody I spoke to absolutely loved it. And I know we're going to have a lot of double headers, but I really hope that the ladies' teams, when you do have your own individual games, if it is at OLP, we get that backing again. It was brilliant. That was probably my... I couldn't get to the final, unfortunately. So that was probably my personal highlight of watching the ladies' team last year, that semi-final, um, as well as obviously the wonderful progress she'd made all year. Just that semi-final, it was, it was, it was fantastic. I couldn't believe just how many were there. It was wonderful. The the thing is that sorry, the thing is Come that on, this is good. Sorry, go cat. Think... Go on. <laughs> <laughs> She's disabled. I can't be mad to her. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think what made this semi-final so special for us as well and is is that the people we had behind I'm not gonna lie it's it's a bit scary but it's the good scary and that's what makes us believe that we can achieve anything when we have people behind 
because when we started the first at the very first when we started playing rugby league for uh, Sheffield Eagles we were going to the men's to support them at the very first game but also discover the game the atmosphere and all that and I'm not gonna lie in my head I was like I hope that's gonna be the same for the girls but I can't really you know hope that much because we've just started and we don't know what we actually worth at the minute and then little by little during the season we proved that we can actually be good and people can enjoy seeing us play and we've seen this in the semi-final and we had people travel all the way for the final as well which makes us want to do more so it's not just only for us but it's also for you guys that we've tried to go on that much so it's it's rewarding i'm not gonna lie oh it's it's rewarding for us because when me and mark did this when we've done this show in the past and everything and it's just been the me- this year has been like well how, how, how much can we fit in in the time that we've got because normally it'd just be or talk about amends and sometimes it'd be our rubbish it was or when it was doing the lockdown we was doing our most of memories and things like that but then this year we've got the we've got you we've got the we've got the men we've got the oh my god it's like ding ding I'm like how, how can we fit this all in? But everybody's been saying it. The reaction with you with you folks and everything all the way through the season has been off the wall. It's just every week it's like right what the all the, all the women go looking at the fixtures for God's sake. I mean have you had everybody looking at the fixtures and going right that's what we can go there can go there go there. Uh, Question. That's a, that's a question, or, Dino. That's a quick. Sorry, that's a one, question, Dino. When do when do the ladies get their uh, get the oh, fixtures? Yeah. When do you get your fixtures? I think it's January. Yeah. yeah. To be confirmed. To be yeah. confirmed. Because they need. I think they need to align. Maybe try to align as much double letters as they can as well. Um. So yeah, I think it's it's not set up yet. We we're, we're not. Yeah. Uh, Lucy Hannigan asks, "You guys got a winning team song yet?" Oh Molly. boy, don't don't even start. I, I've been no. Molly, that's your job. <laughs> I attempted it after the grand final, but after one too many beers, I couldn't really get my words out. Um when we got it back needs to, to be simple because I need to remember it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You need I'm, to I'm it. working on it. Um yeah. I'm I'm working on it. Yeah. yeah. Quick question. Going back to, I mean, we talked about it before you guys came on about. The uh, end of season presentation night. Who got the? Who got the? Who was the worst for the drink on the the presentation night? Who was the worst? Come on, definitely not me. <laughs> I mean, I was I wasn't drinking, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying either. quiet. Really? <laughs> is, that a guilt, is, is that a guilty quiet? Is that a guilty quiet that you had too many, or was the people worse than you? Oh, I it's because she knows. Right. Because she knew who's the worst. That's why. Um. <laughs> yeah. No comment. <laughs> no, it was a, it was a good night. It was it was good for it, it was good well, for us to be there and to to be acknowledged there. Yeah. yeah. Well, my wife saw a new side of me. She's known me twenty years, and she actually said it the next day. I have never seen you like that ever in my life. I went, yeah, I do. I must admit, I, I did get in a time machine and go back to the nineties. And she says, you and Mark Aston were just going mental. I went, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. And Mark, Mark below, he'll, he'll, he can vouch for me. Dear, what a night yeah, that you was. Were, you were drunk. Yeah, and <laughs> I've never seen you really drunk. You didn't get drunk in London this, this last year, but you were actually drunk. And I said, what have you had? You're like, uh, yeah. three pints. Hey, uh, shush you. Shot or something. I'm like, you're drunk yeah. after that, mate. Oh. Hey, my highlights of that night in, in September was QLT trying to pinch my Super League ring. I had to put my finger like that because he wanted to pinch the ring that was on my finger. Super League Grand Final. And then, and then all of a sudden, Mark's grabbing my finger going, hey, look what Dino's got, Super League Grand Final ring. And I'm like, and he's dragging my hand, he's dragging me by my finger all the way around and showing Menzi and all these other players. And I'm like, oh, God. And he goes, no, 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 look, he's got a Super League Grand Final ring. I used to have to take it off about eight times because people, one of the pictures took with it. I'm like, oh, I thought so never again. Go out and win one. <laughs> we, sh- we should have had it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what would you, yeah, yeah, instead of the medals, would you have had rings? Yeah, yeah it would have been better. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Anyway, uh, 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 Beth and Molly, um, Caps were telling us that she's having a shirt and medal frame from last year. Have you got yours on the wall yet? Um, I've got my medal on my desk and I've given my shirt to my nana. Oh, oh nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 I've got my uh, medal on my desk as well. I have no idea where my shirt's come. 
I mean, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. <laughs> I'll probably wear it. Probably wear it training. Yeah. What? Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Oh, no. At least, at least, Beth, if you find it, just give it to Dean. He'll be more than happy to keep it. Okay. Don't, don't <laughs> ever wear it. It's all right. It's all right. It's just... I'm, I don't know. I just don't don't want to quite frame it. Well, there's no way to put it, it. it. At this point, Beth, just don't don't sink anymore. <laughs> just give it to Dean. <laughs> there you go. Don't worry about that. Oh, I'll give you if you want to jump for if we're going to shirt for training. I'll give you a shirt for training in. Don't wear I've, that. I've got loads of shirts for training in. Don't yeah, oh, don't lots wear of your grand final jersey. In. That's Beth. <laughs> yeah, the one with slit outside that she wears all the time. Oh, wow. yeah. Which one? Who's hard? Oh. Who's right, who's the, who's the, which member of the team's got the funniest sense of humour? Who's the, they always ask that one. Who, which one's the craziest? Molly thinks she has. Oh, there. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, do you mean do you mean weird weird good or just weird bad? Because weird bad, I could say Molly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Molly, Molly thinks she's got the, the best sense of humour, though, doesn't she? Yeah. I have. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> Molly, just need to get on my level. Yeah. Well, the only right. reason you laugh, the only reason you laugh at me is because you can't understand what I'm saying. So yeah, all. yeah. Right, we better start answering these questions because we've yeah. got loads. There's loads of them uh, just popped all the way in. Uh, we've done Lucy's. Owen Bratley saying, "How does the? How did it feel playing at the OLP in front of the Eagles crowd?" Amazing. Keep doing it. it. Yeah, I love it. I love it, the OLP. Molly, how do you like it? Heartwarming, to be honest. Just want to do it more. I want to do it every game if we could. Oh. So. Yeah. I've never seen two fellas so concerned in your life when then you went off with a sprained ankle. I think it was the one against Wigan St. Pat's. Yeah. And you went off with yeah, an ankle, did. and we're going. Oh, she's off! Knee, she's off! It? Don't come back on yeah. yet. It was my knee when I did my knee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the, that, that was like, well, don't wait. Wait, wait, it's all right. It's all right. And more, more, the full, the full time whistle went. Me and Mark went right. Where was she? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. Just got so concerned. It's like we've never been. We've never been that crazy about anything. So you've just reunited everything about the Eagles to us. Uh, Tasha says, I would love to see what the record numbers are for a League One semi final or championship for that matter. I think it must be up there as a record. If not, it's close to it. And that's the women's game, that is. Tasha, uh, if you're listening, uh, can you take, uh, can you take Tubby to Karen's Diner and film it again, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have we all seen that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I've got to take my wife to Kevin's Diner for the 40th next no, year. No, I can't. I, could, I don't think I could ever go there. I, th I think it will end up really bad. No, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for someone to insult me. Oh, I'm going to take it I think they probably recruit on. me at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. What was it they called, Tubby? Granddad? What was it? Rick Astley Turkey wannabe? Tea. Something like that? Turkey tea. Turkey tea. That was it. Mm. <laughs> Knowing Tubby, he'll get them to sponsor Eagles. You watch. We'll have Kevin's Diner on the show. Oh, no, yeah. I'm not yeah, wearing that. Tubby's <laughs> tea. No, 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 no. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> 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 right. uh, well, they can sponsor underwear. We won't see them. That's it. <laughs> That's um, an idea. Uh, uh, Lucy says, I'm going to be writing you, uh, writing you a, a winning song, Mol. She says that. Uh, Lucy says, are you guys training at the moment? If not, when do you start pre-season? We've got a training session on Wednesday, this Wednesday. Um, and then I think we start training 4th of January, yeah. do we, girls? Yeah. 4th yeah. of January properly. So yeah. Get your boots on, Lucy. Come on down. Great. <laughs> uh, Chevalan asks, us, who is the worst dressed teammate? <clears throat> Molly. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a close call between well, but I don't know if Aiden's watching, but she's gone back to Canada. But between Aiden and Molly, there's a, a, a big competition there. <laughs> Dear me, it's a good thing that I mean rugby league is in summer because she only wears cargo shorts. That's all she does. <laughs> yeah, and bucket hats. Yeah. Hey, hey bucket hats. Hey, whoa, whoa, hold on, my bucket hat. 
I think we're just missing the socks and, and, and the flip flops. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're close. Yeah. Hey, oh. at least I don't wear Crocs. Uh, me neither. Oh. Yellow Crocs, Beth. <laughs> I'll talk about them. I'm proud of my yellow Crocs. Oh, no. Nothing wrong with my yellow Crocs. Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. don't 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 ask questions like this, because that's never going to end up that chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Fowler says it's great to see the ladies giving some air times. Well done to Dean and Mark for sorting this out. Hashtag one club. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Lucy Hannigan's asking how much Foot Locker discount can I have for asking all these questions, Molly? <laughs> No, honestly, oh. I asked for a discount from my lady. She won't give me one. So Chaps, Chaps got it. Chaps got it. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Uh, I didn't get a discount from my lady, so uh, that's how it is. Uh, Tash has said 2.5 million have seen the tubby video at uh, Kevin's Diner. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, but does it beat Tasha's record of having Ed Sheeran see her video of her with her daughter? Nah, that's the best one. Because she had Ed Sheeran oh, see the yeah. video. So, yeah, that yeah. was a beauty. She's queen of the TikTokies, Tash. Get going, it. Get him like that. Uh, Lucy says, hold oh, no, on, no, I've got me. It's Kate you... there around there. Is Kate asking you question? Because I feel like we're losing Kate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which teammate has the strangest pre match superstition? Hmm, I don't think we have any. No, I can't no. breathe in changing room next to Caps because she uses that much heat spray. I pass out if I go near Caps. Well, I need I, I need to feel I need to feel like I'm ready. So deep cleaning is uh, sorry. Yeah. Don't worry about that now. Don't worry. Is there any um is there any pre-match dressing room tunes or music? Yeah, Molly's got a speaker when she <laughs> thinks about bringing it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm DJ when I when I remember the speaker. So yeah, I just I just throw whatever on really, whatever the vibe is in the change room. I try and match match the vibe, intense the vibe. I always put gold on though. You'll be happy to know. I'm I'm, I'm staying quiet on that one because my um, opinion's uh, different. Yeah. I'm gold staying quiet right on the gold on. one. Gold Spandau Valley. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> I hated it in the 80s. I hate it now. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the one record. I'm like, every time it comes on, I'm like, oh my god, I hate this bleeding song. That's and I was say, I can't stand it. I just can't stand Stan Spandau Ballet, even though we threw me used to them. I'm like, oh god, look at these idiots. So, uh, Kate's asking, right? This is Mrs. Sheffield Eagles again. There are a few of you that have played both codes. Which do you enjoy the most, and which is the most physical? Ugh, it's um. I mean, I've played both, but I play a completely different position. Uh, when I used to play union, I was an outside centre. Uh, obviously about three stone lighter. <laughs> uh, and a league, I my job is just to make sure they don't stop me. So, I'd say for me, the most physical would be league because that's where I have to be. Uh, but the the most difficult is probably union. Yeah, so I um, I would probably say um, that Union was more um, more uh, like the contact was heavier. But I um, so obviously I'm the second row in league, um, and I play prop in Union. So scrum wise, it's um, if I could take scrums and put them in league, I feel like I'd I'd uh, I'd really like that. But um, everyone else will. Complain about that, but I don't. Um, but yeah, so I I enjoy league. I enjoy um sort of um for me the sort of simplicity of league. I think it's it's like cutting out all the sort of confusing bits of union. Um, but I do really like the I like bits of both. I think um there's a lot a lot more running in league, so you have to be a lot fitter to play. Um. So I think I think um, hopefully I'll, we'll all sort of work <clears> on <throat> our fitness, ready for ready for the summer. Everybody I'm just training. I'm just training on you're... being like yeah. I'm training on being ten minutes on, ten minutes off. That's what I'm training at the minute. <laughs> yeah. We're just saying Molly obviously has been an Eagles fan forever. Have you ever played Union? 
No, probably never will either. It baffles me head a little bit when I come and watch the girls. We yeah. spoke, yeah. Me and Molly have spoken about it, and I think, I think it's uh, I thought like I, I sort of it can be quite overwhelming. I think when I because obviously I started playing Union, um, and I obviously still play Union now, and I feel like sometimes Union is a lot more overwhelming because there's more things to think about. It's yeah. enjoyable, but there's more things to think about um, than in league. Yeah, I don't know what's happening when I come and watch girls play Union. So I, I just stand and clap and cheer them on. Daniel <laughs> says, Caps will be playing 30 minutes each half this season. Who said that? Daniel Burke. Dan. I'm not even surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I've, just, I've just had abuse off Chris Fowler because saying I don't like Spandau Ballet. He's, he's just... he's, he's, that Danny's just like, I do something good and it always find a way to annoy me. It is. That, that, I don't know if that's a coach thing, but I've told him I'd, I'd be PR at the gym and all that, and he's just that. no, nope, you can do more. I'm like, well, try yourself, and then I can do more. Yeah. So, Dan, I will ignore all Dan's questions from now on. Yeah. And Simone Saunders says, Molly's not got enough brain cells for Union, she says that, so. Got's fired. Sure. Yeah, I know, I'm talking yeah. about that, ain't it? It's, it's just, it's it's just it fires. Just... Simmy, just remember who gets you your shoes. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, go. I oh, say Simmy's got discount too, Beth. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Honestly. It's because me. he loves you, Cabs. This chat room's gone crackers here again. Uh, Daniel's asking, have you leg pressed 300k yet? No, I'm still at 265. <laughs> 265. Dear God. Uh, it, and Tash says it's because he loves you, Caps. Oh. Yeah, I love him too. Uh, <laughs> what Lucy's jumped in this. What's this about? Me and Beth want discount. Oh, here we go again. Here we go. Here Look, we go. girls, we'll talk about this off air, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a question for you. When did you start believing that hey, we've got something special and we can we can win this thing? When did when did did, did I know? I know people say you take one match at a time. Was it really that attitude, that one match at a time? Or did any of you just say, hey, hold on a minute, we've got something going here. We really can win this league here. Did anybody I, come at that at what point? I mean, I could say, um, because I've been, I've been injured for a, a few games and I panicked that few games watching it. And I'm like, we're losing, we're losing this, we're losing composure. I think the game where everything for me kind of, um, big big question mark was after the first Illingworth game. Uh, I was it wasn't ideal. We was summoned there very early. The changing room and absolute ridiculous shit. Um, and we almost lost that game. And I thought we would honestly. Um, uh, I don't know if it's because it was outside of our routine. If anyone was mentally ready for it, but I thought if we keep playing like this, when when we're, we're not going up, we're not. And then, I don't know, something happened and every game um, we got better. Um, but at some point, I'm not going to lie, it, I thought if we play like this, it's, that's not going to work. So we had those, you know, ups and downs, but hopefully we had more ups and downs and um, we made it through. Yeah, I think um, sort of similar for me, sort of that, that Wigan game, I'm not sure if you played that, played that game, Caps. Um, no. uh, the Wigan game at home uh, in at the OLP was um, a difficult game, and I think during that game and sort of it it was difficult. There was lots of sort of that was the game where I feel like we were we were sort of tested in terms of um, making sure that we'd got each other's backs and making sure that we were, we were sort of one team um, because I think that it, it like it tested us quite a lot and I think after that game it, it was sort of the sort of turning point and then um I think we played when we I think it was Rochdale away when we played Rochdale away um and then um because that was the game we played on the same day that Swinton and Illingworth played and then and they drew um and we played Rochdale and uh that was a very sort of, oh, I think that, I think that was the game, and it was sort of a very sort of satisfying, satisfying game to play. Like we, we sort of, that was the game where, for me, it was very, 
um I sort of had that in my mind where it was like we, we've got something special and then I and then I oh Molly when was, when was it for you um probably the game that I kind of thought into it were probably a bit later than than Caps and Beth uh, it was probably Featherstone away for me um uh, towards the end of it um uh, the season um I feel like we all kind of bonded and after we'd been through the ringer of the tough games against the Lingworth and obviously Wigan at home and the people that could that could definitely fetch the fire to us and everything like that. We kind of all realised that we needed to to play for each other and and get his arms around each other and really support each other and go through the battle together. And um, mm. so I think Featherstone Featherstone away with that game for me where I realised that. I think Mark Mark came to that game. Is that is that that game when? Yeah, you know, Mark was at that game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was at that one. Yeah. What I enjoyed about that game more than anything was just how. Uh, well, I'll try and think of the word. You sort of cut loose. You sort of expressed yourselves. Um, obviously, they we were better than them in all areas. But it's the way you just went out and expressed yourselves and just why I said, right, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And every time you had the ball, you thought you were going to get over. And it's that belief. I mean, they got over like what once? Once, I think they yeah. scored once or twice the whole game. Yeah, once. But yeah, yeah. And, uh, and Liam, the coach, even said like we're, we're giving different girls different positions. Uh, we're going to try some different things. We're going to do some things like to get us ready for the playoffs. And everything that you went and did, you did really well. And that was the game where it was like, it was just a complete performance. Yeah, I remember that one. Um, what else was the, I mean, for me, it was all all building up to that semi-final. Uh, but yeah, February was a really good one. And also the home game against Halifax at Miners in the hot weather, um, because they were like a oh. big a big yeah. team, um, it was either going to go one or two ways. Either they were just going to blow up with the heat or it was going to be really physical and tough. And you just ran around them. You played the game perfectly. You literally just let them set the ball up and then have their set. And then you just got it out to the wide and went right around them. And perfect, perfect way of playing the game. I think I've said something here because a lot of people are talking about their things in the chat room. Uh, Tasha says the nicest thing. Caps, this is for you. When Caps realise just how good she is, she's unstoppable. The sweetest thing about a lot of these teams is they don't realise just how good they are. Aww. Daniel Burt. I'm not going to lie. Do, 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 I've discovered, because every girl does that, and I've never done that before. Uh, yeah. The Red Bull before the game is really helpful. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, lie. I started at the semi-final, and, and then I did it at the final as well. It gives you that extra... Yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. It's not down to me, it's Red Bull as well. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, the turning point for me for us to go on to win the league in the final was the Wigan game. That game was touch and go throughout. And from that game, we just kept moving forwards from there and improving massively. Simone says, for me, I don't think we ever had the idea of winning. That was just a bonus. We were just a bunch of misfits and great friendship was formed over the season. I think... I think when uh, I think when you play for your teammates and genuinely enjoy turning up on game days with a smile on your faces, you want to a winner. Most of us still don't know the rules now. <laughs> that's what makes it more exciting. And that's Simone. So Thanks, uh, mate. Yeah, you're not you're not a bad bunch, really, are you? And Shell's come out with a good one. Which teammate would be the most likely to get sent off? Oh. Hmm. Tori. <laughs> no, I said Danny Green. Da no, I, oh. Yeah, Danny Green. Oh, for, uh, do you know what? We'll split it. I'll go Claire Fisher. Claire's hung over most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> probably, uh, probably that. We all, we, it depends because, oh, uh, I mean, Tor Tori and, and uh, Danny Green, they have that football thing when they actually think they're allowed to talk back to the ref, which we have uh. to try to tell them. That <laughs> yeah. Um, but when you know a bit of rugby, you know you have to shut up. So yeah. I think most of the rugby, rugby girl wouldn't be sent off unless unless it's very unfair. And yeah. I mean, we, I mean, you've noticed there were no fights whatsoever this season. No. And I'm I'm thinking next year is going to be a bit different, but yeah. 
I feel like we don't we we I feel like we're quite a nice team considering I think yeah. like, I found that there's a different level of respect in union than there is in league and I think sometimes like so the other other teams seem to be like a lot more like unfriendly and a lot more like um aggressive and yeah. we're quite a nice team I think and I don't know whether that's come coming obviously quite a lot of us are from union and yeah. We all sort of shake each other's hands and we're all like friendly. It's like Illingworth, for example. Illingworth at home was um, was a was an interesting game and and the. I'm I'm surprised we we even at the final we didn't break a fight because there were so many occasions of. Yeah, but oh I don't yeah. Like we, we wouldn't. I don't think we would. I think it, yeah. I think it would have been. I think. Them. Just well, it watching. Shows, it. No. Sorry, go on. It shows that we 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 do play. With respect, even though they were nasty and they had they had uh, they had yellows and she had a, a red for it, and we we were educated on that field whether they're not because obviously and I'm gonna give a uh, big kudos to the coach because they've told us to play with a heart and not just with a like head buried in the sand with like stupid shit like they gave us and Illingworth have a coach that is. I'm not uh, bonkers he's completely mentally weird uh, and I think that shows and we've seen that in many teams uh, never Dan or Liam as annoyed that they could have been uh, raises the voice at us uh, or said it insulted anybody when you see Featherstone the way he talks to his girl is insane and uh, Swinton as well and Swinton, Swinton yeah. and, and yeah, Ellingworth no. And it's just completely different spirit. And we were not, I feel like we're like baby's chicks that were not raised in that same, you know. Yeah. So I just, I, I do believe that the coach has made a difference on, you know, that Liam is a super calm person. Well, I know when he's pissed off, he could be pissed off, but he never shows aggressivity or anything like that. And I think it's, it's a big, it's a big win for us to have coaches that, you know, show the, lead by example. Yeah. Uh, Chris Fowler says his caps after a sponsorship from Red Bull. Uh, no, my, I've already got through, like, my boss already sponsoring me. So. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, so uh, Lucy Anagan says in answer to the question that they're going to get sent off, she goes, Whoever plays one. That's Danny uh, Green. Yeah. That? Danny Green. Yeah, Danny. Yeah. yeah. And Sim <laughs> Simone says Claire would be too rough. Yeah. So yeah, she'll probably not speak and just smash the rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I think one of the highlights of this year is I think it was one of the things at OLP is you had, you were came off the pitch and all the and all the men's team was there and you had this big massive picture and it was like I've never seen that at any other club in rugby league. I've never seen it in the Super League teams, I've never seen it anywhere else. It was like the Sheffield Eagles men's first team. And you guys all together on one big picture. And I was like, nothing will beat this place. Nothing. If, if from 10 I mean, years ago, from 10 years ago now, when Don Valley was gone and, and uh, Toby had to say, I've got to get rid of the academy. To see that in the, such a short space of time is nothing more than a miracle. It's just unbelievable, the spirit that is in, in this club now because we're back in Sheffield full time. I do. I do hope, though, because we, we've tried uh as as you say, it's it's a one club thing, which is something we can see a uh, growing growing every time over the year. And I I'm not I'm going to talk for myself. I, I would like uh, I would like a bit more men's support because I think we've tried to be every time for them, and and I think we've we've shared now a full season all together. And I would like to see them a lot more, to be honest. Because it is also, it's important for us. Like I said at the beginning, the crowd is a massive part of what you win a game as well. When you're home, when you feel supported, when you feel all these people behind you, you can't deceive them, you know? And knowing that the men have such experience as well, them watching, it, it could also lead to them giving you advice in the, in the future and stuff like this. So I do believe that's one thing if I, if I, if I would to ask is a lot more support from the men maybe. There we go. Toby, if you're watching, get involved, Sunshine. Get him in. <laughs> get him. Uh, but so I think 
I don't I don't know what Mark thinks about it, but this year, the 2022, 2023 has got a long, long way to top this year. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just <laughs> been very, very memorable in all areas. I mean, I've said it how many times on this programme, the development from, like, like Beth said, a group of girls in Hillsborough Park to a championship winning team in in basically six months. It's it's astounding in any in any level of sport. And you're right, 2023's got a lot to live up to. You know, there's been improvements yeah. in the men's squad. Hopefully the ladies are gonna have a bit more recruitment. We're gonna keep the core together. Um the LDT and of course the girls team, the wheelchair, the wheelchair, well done to them, off the mark. Yeah, got a 46 to, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so well yeah. done to them. Yeah. It has got a lot to live up to. And this one club mentality, I absolutely love it because it just shows that you know, we're all pushing in the same direction. And we haven't had that at this club in a long time. No, no. Yeah. Did you guys go to the World Cup game, England-Greece? Yeah. 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 I, saw I was Captain the only one, I was the only one cheering for Greece, but... <laughs> oh, I bet you cheered them for the first two minutes then when you went 4-0, when they went 4-0 up then. Oh, no, no, I keep going. <laughs> uh I sat behind the two of the guys that was, I think my, I've, well, down at Bramwell Lane anyway. And I sat in front of two guys that were Leeds Vinyls. And boy, the amount of abuse they were giving Wigan guys. I was like, it says, it's England. And he went, don't care. He's still a Wigan player. I'm like, oh my God. Give me a break here. 1994-4. And I get the two guys who find criticism with it. And I'm like, he goes, ah, he plays for Wigan though. He plays for Wigan. I'm like, why? Why, why, why? Why? Uh, Lucy Hannigan says you guys are a fantastic team to watch it is amazing at the OLP you have such a bond great bond and I wish you all the best for the 23 season we'll be at every game I can get to sorry about it good luck guys <sighs> there we go good luck to everyone I think I think everything you guys you're getting a, you guys getting a Christmas get together or is it just a training session on Wednesday yeah we do have a social on the next week 20th 21st yeah. I can't remember yeah 20th <clears throat> Won't be extra time, uh, bar, would it? No, we're going, uh, to, we're going to do some karaoke. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know where we're going. My expertise. Simone's, Simone's planned it. Simone's asked. Simone is the, is the, is the social, uh, does the social bit, then. <laughs> That's nice to hear, though. You're going out for. Uh, I wonder what uh, the boys are going out with, with the Christmas jumpers. Oh, I saw one of them one year. Never again. Never, never, ever, ever. It was, that was funny as hell. Uh, but so I think this year it's just, it's just I mean hold on I think I've missed the questions here I'm sure. Uh, where do, oh well you've just said it mid season so Kate you've had your questions answered for once. Simon Travis has got a good one. What was the build up going into the final, i.e. training and playing like? Was you all okay with it? Was it was there a bit of any butterflies or anything like that? I think we were brought back to reality real fast because uh, we we were we were told to treat that game like any other game. Uh, just play play what we've played. Uh, we were completely, uh, I mean, we we trusted the coach on the management game, so we knew they were they knew what they were doing. Um, they're always very careful on the way we feel, the way we 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 are in the games and stuff. So we had, I would say, quite relaxed sessions before before those games. Uh, there is a difference between taking it too seriously and actually uh, keeping the 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 excitement for it. So, um, yeah, there they, they, they were bits where we knew, you know, we had to train, but uh, no pressure or not that much pressure. We tried to keep that away from us because we've done we've done brilliantly all season. So why put so much pressure on something we could achieve and we knew we could. So there, there's always that little bit where you're unsure. It's like any other thing. Uh, it's never sure. Uh, but we were pretty confident. And we had to try to bring that confidence to a level where we're not too cocky, but we were just knowing that we were there and that's what we were supposed to do. So, it's, uh, Simone says, it's nice to actually get changed in the changing rooms of the OLP. felt more yeah. professional. It felt a lot more professional. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, like, we all liked that. Although we've asked for mirrors in the changing rooms. Yeah, we have yeah. for that. Mirrors? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no mirrors. There's none. No. Oh, oh. Unreal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, so they all been with the final and things, but 
overall, wonder what a wonderful season. Just onwards and onwards for next year, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I, Lucy's I asking. Have... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Come on. No, go go for it. Go for it. No, Lucy says, is there any new players joining the team? But you've got a recruitment in January, haven't you? So. Yeah. yeah, so we will know definitely when, when we start going into January friendlies and stuff like that. So yeah. And why um, would it I'm oh, sorry, why would it would just want to say get well soon, mate. I'm glad you're at home is uh, Vicky Fernley's little boy who's just had his operations and has gone through chemo at his session. He's now home with his family. And we wish I wish Vicky, Guy, the whole family, very, very merry, merry, happy Christmas to all of you. And we hope that yeah, no, that little lad is back to his full strength and we'll see him at the Eagles games very soon. That would be fantastic, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Also, Simone, also seen the mascots from the girls' teams. Hopefully, we can be good role models. Oh, yeah, we've got got the girls' team, haven't we? So, we've got five Sheffield Eagles teams next year. Yeah. Yeah. And and if we get a Masters, six. Yep. Yeah. Atasha's asking, who thinks Andrea will play? I definitely want to, and I'm going to make sure. Yeah. (laughs) We all want Andrea I mean, to play. But it depends depends where she plays. Well, she if she plays my position, then I'm I'm fucked. But uh... <laughs> Andrea Andrea will want thirteen shirt. I can bet. Yeah, yeah she probably will. So yeah. But I definitely hope I hope she plays because that's still. I mean, she will come back after maternity and not playing for that much years. That so it's it's a it's a decent level level for her to be back in, and it's a lot of experience bring to the team. So. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's a win win everywhere. She doesn't have to play every game, but uh, yeah, definitely it would be it would be a great addition to the team. Now let's just convince her to do so. Has, yeah. Has she has she changed? Has she got starstruck ever since? Now she's been a commentator at the World Cup. Has she changed the tunes yet? She's like, oh yes, well I'm a commentator now. I've been uh, I've been doing it at the World Cup now. Well, the World Cup is not for another for another what four years, oh, yeah. so she's got time to read up to being a player now. So. Yeah. Tasha asks, what position do you girls enjoy the most and would you like to stay in that position? Mm, I don't know. I'd like, I, I, to be fair, I'd, I'd like to give a go at 13, but they will never let me do so. I say, I think I will stay at number eight forever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah try, no, scoring, but, try scoring um, prop. Where have we had this before? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know innit? <laughs> try to, but five tries in a game. Oh, my God. Yeah, still can't believe it. That's I mean, when when everybody said that, and it was Dan Fowler that started, and he says she you equal the record with Menzi and Davil and the other club, and then somebody on Twitter decided like, and everybody else went, uh, no, don't you dare, no, 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 yeah. and I think, and uh, quick like you said, he quickly apologized. So but, yeah, he did, 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 did apologize, and uh, I mean, it, it's like every every fan of those guys who, who made an impact over the years and have. The experience I, I definitely never have because I, I won't play as long as they did. But um, it was nice to have to have my name there, and, and I felt really proud for me and for the team. Uh, it's just that uh, obviously, uh, uh, yeah, no, I will never dare to compare myself to those guys. It was just, it was just an easier game for us, and it was a, an opportunity to put those try. But it's a team effort. It's just not me. This ball comes from someone else, so you know. Yeah. So I'm thinking. Um... Mark, have you got anything else you might? I just want to say a massive thanks. This is great. I, I, I don't say much because this is your show. I just uh, speak when you say, but thanks very much for joining us and thanks everybody for watching. Um, it's been a lean time, obviously. There's not been much rugby going on, save World Cup and whatnot, but it's great that we've all still got this fiery passion for the game. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I can't wait for the season to get started again. Get back down there, get watching some rugby league. I mean, we had the World Cup. We were a bit spoiled. Obviously, we've got this round ball thing going on at the minute which we don't mention uh but uh thanks very much and can't wait to see us all get started yeah. and uh when Would we you... get some pictures we'll get some plans made for away yeah. games yeah jo- beth and beth and molly what what positions you play sorry i completely cut you guys off and i'm sorry, sorry about that now are you happy um, in your positions or any other yeah, positions yeah, you absolutely. want to play I, um i um sort of still want that 12 shirt um, so I'll, that's sort of I, there's a thing Liam knows that I just like my twelve shirt. So hopefully I've got that's a twelve shirt. I've got that's a twelve shirt. It's got Joel Joel Fowl on the back door, but it's got it says twelve shirt twelve shirt. Well, I'm the women's twelve, so uh, that's where I'll try and stay super Beth. Season. Here we go, super Beth. 
Yeah, we got we got Super Joel. Now we got Super Bear. It's everyone wears number twelve. There you go. Super. You'll Bear. get the shirt as well if she finds it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'll give you the shirt. I don't know where it is. I think. I think it's no. Maybe it's in the wardrobe. Might be hung up it's in the wardrobe. Training. Training. Did you, did you, you guys? Did you guys know that that they made the shirt for us on the final with the inscription on it? No, it we was... didn't know. We didn't know that, oh, didn't we? Yeah. So I, I, I'm gonna get it because it's, it's. I can't. I can't frame it because if I frame it, then one. I like to show number twelve, but then on the front, it's got all the sort of. Oh. I think it was Tash that spent spent her time, um, putting all the letterings on. Get that the front there, yeah. How cool is that? That yeah. that's, that is fantastic. Oh, that that's amazing. And everybody signed it, the caps. Uh, not everyone was at training on last Wednesday, so I will bring it again and make sure oh. everyone does. Oh. Have you go? Uh, have... I have one question though, and that's for the people that spend their time supporting us. What would they want from us? Is, is there anything they want from us next year that would make them happy apart from winning? <laughs> Just that's do what you do. We'll, uh, we'll throw that out there. We'll let's see what yeah, people just, think. Yeah, we'll see what they say now. Good, but me, just keep doing what you're doing. Please, it's yeah. magic. It's magical. It's, I mean, throughout all the years, I think throughout the Eagles and everything. I mean, the only thing I can, I, I can because I was coach of the girls' team in the nineties, ninety two, ninety six, and I was doing that, and we had a great camaraderie then with the girls and everything like that. And I, I, and Jason always said to me. We've got to make these feel those like they're the most important thing in our lives. And I went, well, we'll do us every time I do it. We always had the fruit. I, I tried it as well. It was a pro. Every game was like, whether it was an amateur game against a little team in Castleford or we all went across to St. Helens. We always tried it as a professional game, professional sets up and everything. And it's nice tonight. I mean, I know it's 30 odd years later now, but to see this, it's just, it's warm. It's just fantastic to see it. The fact that there's another version of Sheffield Eagles now that has got promoted, that's got everybody behind them, that's everybody's cheering them. It's like I said earlier on, I've never, ever, ever known at least four, 500 people turn up three hours before kickoff of the men's game to watch a women's game. Never. And this year, you ladies did it. You did, you did it again. You got a semi-final, and, and Mark said it. I thought it might be 100, 150. Over 500 people showed up at OLP. That's amazing. That's absolutely outstanding. It was probably one of um, our, our best games. I think it was. The energy was like intense and and we had this all set up for us, the changing room. And it makes, don't get me wrong, I know we can't get this all the time and I hope in time we will, but it makes a massive difference in someone's head before playing than just having to go and to, uh, what's, what's it called? Mm, the, uh, yes. Yeah, and, and then have to walk away and then have to walk back. And it, it takes the whole... Uh, let's stay, stick around with the fans and, and do our stuff and, and be close. It takes that whole away and it, it, it messes up differently in your head. Uh, you don't get ready as much as you would if you were in there already and, and feeling it, you know. So I know it's it's complicated because obviously the OLP is, is, is being uh, new for everybody and, and we don't have space for everyone, but um, it's something that I think is needed for every player to know that you know they've got that support, and I think that's that's probably showed on the game day. It's not just the performance itself; it's everything that was set up around. Uh, Tash, Mark, they did an amazing job making sure everything was set up for us, and 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 honestly, thank you for that. I just hope next year it will it will we'll have a lot more of that. But being a double letters, I don't think we will have the privilege of that. But I'm really hoping we find solutions for it. Yeah, you will. Where there's, where there's a will, there's a way. A uh, few more messages. But, but Molly, what's your position? Would you have a carry on at your position or would you want to move somewhere else? Um, I'd like to give halfback a, a, a good go because I'm into my kicking, so I, I'd like to give that a go, but I'd definitely like to stay on wing. Uh, I won't like to be on centre with Beth again, uh, not after not after Swinton. So staying far away from Beth. Need a scrum cap. Get a scrum cap on, you'll be fine. Uh, Beth tried to make me wear one, but I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Ah, oh, scrum cap's legendary. Uh, Chris Fowler saying, "Will it be in the program for the most tries in a game record?" I don't know, Chris. You'll have to ask Mark Aston and Mark Hannigan for that one. 
Uh, a right good night out would do, says Lucy Anningham. Uh, <laughs> extra time is shouting my name. Everybody's extra time. Get the discount, though, don't you? Get a discount. You know, since we know that this is the domain sponsor, honestly, I spend, I spend most of my time over there. I went for my Christmas work due over there, and I turned up and all the Eagles men were over there, so that was... The... Yeah. I've never known anything like it. If they're not having my jerseys up on the walls, they can wallop them. I'm not having all my old my collection. <laughs> no chance. I, just, I, I wish, honestly, I wish they had a, a picture frame of us. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah, get one, get one. See what happens. I'd, I'd love it to like the one, the one when you won the when the league cup, when you got the cup, and you went in front, you're all at the front there, and you're doing all the bit there. That is one picture I would like. Get it for that, put that in the frame, and then get it signed by all you guys. I think I'll have to see if I can get that done. But, no, uh, that, 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 that would be fantastic. That one. I'll definitely uh, sign that for you. Yeah, Lou Shanigan says the only thing I'm getting my boots on is for Molly. On for Molly is water for you lot. Every little else, every little else. Will be <laughs> every little, yeah, it. yeah. I mean, who's the biggest unsung hero for the team? I mean, them the ones that go above everything else and like they never get like. What's Hannah's like? I mean, we always have known about Hannah. I've known Hannah for years and years and years, so she's she's definitely up there. But uh, is she going to be? Is she bring Don in the boots again next year, or is she uh, staying on the sidelines? Hannah is the silent hero. She's the silent one that does the thing behind and we don't see much. Uh, the, the, there is a different, I'll say they, I, I, I hope I won't forget anybody, but there is, um, in this in these Sheffield Eagles management team, there were different people uh, wearing different caps because of what they are. Uh, we had Andrea starting it. Andrea is the superstar that we know we could get behind because she has the recognition that we needed to start. Then there is uh, Hannah. Hannah, uh, Hannah got pregnant uh, really close into the first training sessions. So Hannah was like, well, very close to Andrea being pregnant, but that's that's different because Hannah was like uh, doing all the little bits and stuff and helping us out and also, you know, like really, really being helpful. Uh, she's always turned up a training, helping as well with that. Uh, then you've got Liam that was there from the beginning not knowing what he was doing at first because he didn't know anything about league. And then he got sucked into the game and, and literally gave all his experience as a coach as any sports that he does and and all the bits that we needed to hold it together. And then uh, Dan joined uh, later on, which he has the experience of the rugby league. So it was a great addition to, um, uh, to Liam. Uh, then... Tash got to know us a bit better, so she uh, she really was a really big support mid season that day, uh, socially, uh, social wise, and uh, helping out so and stuff when we play at home and oh, do, doing all the extra bits that we really we are grateful for all those people because when we started that very first training session in Hillsborough, I was like, what I got myself into? Who are those people, and what are we actually going to do? Uh, and then. Little by little, uh, us winning helped as well uh, open doors that we didn't know we could. Um, and with the help of uh, Tash, Mark, everybody around, uh, I guess this team is, is a really close team, but without the people around, uh, I don't think it could have done anything. And the fact that we have also uh, Mark Aston really, really uh, taking in us seriously and helping out in many ways, uh, that helped as well. So. I, I, yeah, I just can't thank them enough because I don't think this season would have been the same without all those people. Definitely. And my mum, bless her, she fetches us ice every game. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're always like all, all on with the ice, with the, you know, always making sure that everyone was okay. Uh, I've probably forgot all the peop other people as well, but it's just, yeah, it, it was nice to have everyone doing a little bit for everybody. Yeah. Yes. It's, it is, it's just, like you just said, it's a team effort. I mean, there's 17, 19 of you on the... I loved it when people were complaining. I think, I don't know which match it was, and somebody was complaining of the fact that you had all these subs and the other team didn't have any. And they were like, and I'm saying, well, look at the impact. Look at the impact. It's this team's had on folks. That like, It's not their fault they've got 20 field, 20 players per team. It's not fair that... It's not their fault that the other team have got 13. It's not that. It's not their fault. Mm -hmm. So uh, you only can play who you can play against. So question which team are you looking forward to playing against next year 
oh, I want to play Alton Raiders because I know they were supposed to go up to Super League and I want to know what kind of level that brings us into. I think it's going to be hard as hell and it will be, pff, I'm already going to regret what I've just said, but I mean, this is a challenge and I'm always up for a challenge, so. Molly, any teams you're looking forward to? Um, I can't really say one one specific one. I'm just looking forward to the step up uh, and ramping it up and taking it a lot more serious. You're taking more serious? My God, I... Dear, what? what? Everybody needs to. We I all know. need to. Dear me. Beth, what's yours? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm sort of uh, in between both. Uh, obviously, Alton Raiders, I think it'll be interesting to sort of um, to play them and see the level, but um, I'm looking forward to just playing everyone and seeing what everyone, the sort of level that we're sort of gonna, are going into. So even sort of from the first friendly, the, of the obviously playing Hull, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be really exciting. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting started. You got a pre-season against Hull? Yeah, is it? I, I can't, yeah. The same day as the main oh! day. Yeah, Mate, that's, just, that's just changed my time to my time uh, trains for the uh, match. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I've got the ages to get to the ground. No, not anymore. That's me, don't. Yeah. No, that's me. That's my. That's all my plans changed for that match. <clears throat> Great one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you're not coming from Dan Cambridge. I'm hoping there's not I'm a train little, strike. But still with you, eh? <laughs> I'm hoping there's a train strike. If it's yeah, a train strike, I'm knackered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. I'm we're not going to keep you anymore because it's getting late, and I'm and I'm we really really appreciated of this. Thank you so much for doing this. It's no, been right. absolutely wonderful. We wanted to do this for ages and said, let's get them on. Let's just get yeah. them on and see if we can do it. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time out to doing this. It's been wonderful. Uh, me and Mark's going like, to have had a change back for about five minutes and then stuff. But uh, ladies, thank you so much. Very very great Merry Christmas. Have a great 2023. We hope it's as successful as it ever has been and every game as it comes, you're learning and you're getting better. But uh, on, on the front, what a wonderful 2022 story. If anybody can, anybody could pop in a bottle, let's just pop your team in that bottle and put on the show it for Tim for next year. Thank, Thank you. you very, really? very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, so Thank, you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, you take Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Come on, here we go. Look down. Everyone is disappearing now. Look, look at that. Molly's gone. Molly's gone. And Beth's gone. And then last but not cap. Yeah. Couple of right. minutes. I'll go and get me tea. I'm tired and all because someone yeah. had a nosebleed at half five this morning. Oh. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what a what a great show that was. Uh, speaking to them all. I don't need me to say a great deal. You know, it's better when I don't speak anyway. If you ask me, <laughs> but um, it just uh, went, it's, didn't it? It's, it's just. It, it, it was their show. Let them tell us the stories, and it's always great to hear that camaraderie they've got is a joy to under, a joy to be all. It's, um, it's... just uh, I think we should touch on a few things because we've not spoke for a while. Um, obviously, confirmed friendlies are now confirmed against all and Donny. Um, looking forward to those. See what we're see what we're up against. See how the squad shaping up. The uh, media team still do a great job uh, pushing all the new products. Uh, as you can see. New shirts are on display. Yay, there we go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. This is this it's excellent. It's excellent. For those who can't see, I'll stand up a little bit. Oh, yeah. We've got a short sponsor, haven't we? Red sponsor. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um I wasn't you know what? When I first saw the home one, I wasn't a big fan, but then it's grown on me. And I bet yeah. it looks good on. And the away kit, you know, you can't go wrong with black. It's something you can wear here there and everywhere, isn't it? Can um, I just say this is not what yeah. Tubby showed me back in the <laughs> back in the season. He showed me that. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got to say uh, good luck to Ryan Miller. He's a witness for the year. Um, well, John Key knows all about him, so they're going on that one. Now um, that'll hopefully be the spark he needs to reignite his yeah. career. I think he stagnated a bit at Bradford. So he yeah. wasn't playing all the time, yeah. which is unfortunate. But yeah, yeah, yeah. fixtures. Uh, Fixtures back in Cumbria, middle of February. Well, yeah, you can go along with that one. I don't think I'm doing that this year. Oh, God, uh, Benny. Gonna, yeah, gonna, gonna London. Uh, got a few of the others lined up. I'm missing one in July for my birthday, but I don't mind that. But London. Other than that, you know, fixtures are good. Fixtures are good. We need to briefly talk about the Summer Bash. 
because it's, it's another new venue this year, or next year, should I say, and it is York. Now, mm. there are a lot of criticisms about the Summer Bash as a concept, and I agree with them because I, I don't think it works. So the way I see it about Summer Bash is there's no right for doing wrong. It's not a very popular concept, and it needs to be somewhere that people will want to go to, and York's a fantastic city, so it's always good for the day out. Yeah. Um, it's not bad for staying over either. It's easily reachable by train. When you look at the grounds available, be it Super League Championship, there ain't really a lot available because we're not going to fill a Super League ground with Summer Bash, Leeds last year, example. So it needs to be somewhere sensible. I, I don't think there's any other places. I think Blackpool, I think that that's gone now. It's not going to be there again. Personally, I just don't think the concept's got any more legs. It was an interesting idea, but I think it's run its course. Yeah. Uh... I think same thing with Summer Bash. It's an, to me, York's a no-brainer. It's a rugby league heartland. It's everything there. It's got a great new stadium. And after what they saw at Edley this year, um, I think they've said, well, we've got to we'll find somewhere else that's not as big, but can accommodate the championship teams. And because you've not got... I mean, how many, how, many play, how many people are Toulouse going to bring? Because they've lost Lee and they've gained Toulouse. So how many are Toulouse going to bring this year? That's it. So, no, no. It, I mean, it's Featherston, isn't it? It's just Featherston and Bradford might bring one or two. Featherston, but... Bradford, will, they'll travel quite well. Yeah. Uh, facts uh, usually do. Um, I think the only negative about York I can see is that it's a long way out from the town. But, you know, you're never going to get everything perfect. So, I'll be going. I'll not be staying over, but I'll be going. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be going. Hopefully I'll be going same. Uh, that's, that's not too bad for you either, because it's on the East Coast Main Line. So. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. plans for this year are I've got Featherson on May seventh because my birthday's the fifth. So I'm hoping to come up on me do my little birthday treat to myself to come at Featherson. I'm looked at the fixtures. I can't get a season ticket because I can only get to about six or seven home games. Um, so that's the only reason I'm not buying a season ticket. I wanted to. I wanted to, but it just weren't viably. Was wasn't possible, unfortunately. Mm. So I'm uh, I'm not going to yeah. be buying a season ticket. So I'll after be paying on the I've game as usual. Ticket, I always get one. Uh, I'll be missing one or two probably for various reasons, but you, you know it, it, it is what it is. It's fine. But all the money help, helps the club now go forward, yeah. and you know. Yeah. So the- I mean, <sighs> World Cup. We've got to touch. We'll just talk briefly. Touch the World Cup. Yeah, let's be a, let's be quite quick on that. Uh, QLT's video yeah. QLT's video of Samoa was funny mm. as hell <laughs> at the end of well, the kit launch she was teaching everybody the Samoa dance I forget its name please don't harpoon me um, such a yeah England blew it you know it was there for him semi-final blew it simple as that and the the final was still a respectable game despite the after the Lord May show yeah. thing I must say though on the whole I think the event was a great success I you was know, just going to ask you. Tournament and the wheelchair. Well, that oh my God. In popularity, didn't it? Oh, so, come on. We've got to talk about that French ref. <laughs> the French ref that lost his mind in the final. Yeah. Well, he's wow. Gonna get his, he's going to get his collar felt for it. So, is he? Well, I think so. He's, surely he is. Surely he is. Can't behave like that. Whether he <laughs> has a valid point or not, he's a referee. Can't, can't show off like that. Uh, but never mind. Yeah, but it, the the tournament has been a great, great success, and yeah. that is what this sport needs. Yeah. And the next one's in France in four years, three years time. Three actually. years, yeah. So yeah. you know, yeah. let's go from strength to strength. I do believe that England will win the men's World Cup in our lifetimes. I don't know. Mate, where, you're younger but... than me. Remember, I've yeah, been waiting yeah, since 1970 yeah. for the great Ashes win. I do. I do think it will happen. Sooner than later, you know, people say about football, this football, that, but this is something we've really got a chance at. Yeah, so, I think, yeah. I think one of the one of my most memorable things is, apart from going to that stadium, I'm a Wednesday. I I can't help it. Uh, it was eight. Was it sixteen or eighteen thousand at Bramall Lane? It's about eighteen thousand, which was an outstanding effort. Eighteen thousand watching a rugby league game in Sheffield. We've got to give cojones to Liam. Liam Claffrey, the ex-general manager, he worked behind the scenes at the World Cup. He did his bits and everything. He worked extremely hard to get everything done the best he can. 
it pulled it off. It was a fantastic spectacle. I loved it from start to finish. It was wonderful to see that many people in there watching a rugby league game. Yeah. The score, ah, well, it was it, 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 94 4. It, the best thing that happened on that day was Greece scoring first. When Greece scored, it was like, yeah, all of a sudden, and then the avalanche just opened and the dam just burst. And England just went, right, we'll show you right now. Yeah. And they just went for it. Uh, wonderful. But wonderful thing before it. Nice to see everybody in the extra time bar before it. It was wonderful. And you was all the hospitality at uh, Bromwell Lane. You was doing the commentary. I was. I was. Yeah. Uh, it was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, before we finish, uh, Eagles wheelchair drew 46-46. There's an habit of these 46 draws in Sheffield Eagles history. Yeah. Uh, against Wigan, we've got to give a massive, massive kahunas to the wheelchair team for this wonderful result. They've done it. They finally broke the ducks and everything. So they've got, they drew. So onwards and onwards to next year. Uh, well done, everyone. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, by the way, guys, the shirt fittings, they're nice. I've got an XXL and it fits me just perfect. We were, we were comparing stories earlier on about the, the jerseys and things like that. So, uh, Last thing for me, Dowell Powell. Dowell Powell was going to happen last Thursday at four o'clock. We had it arranged and everything. I sent the message at three three thirteen at uh, three fifteen for the link to the Zoom. I got it back. He says I'm too busy at work, mate. I'm really really sorry. Can we organise it for next week? Trying to do it for this week. If not, it will happen. I swear to God. I'm not putting all my classic jerseys up behind me here, and that just so just for nobody, you know. I just wanted him to like do it, but um. It will happen. This Dowell Powell interview is going to happen at some point. We will get it there. Um, I've, I've even been, and this is one for you, I've even been writing questions out. So I don't, I've, I've been doing a proper one and everything yeah. like that and doing all the firsts and everything and all the stories and things that's going through his career. The only thing we'll ask is everybody can ask questions, but please, 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 nothing about Super League, nothing about his coaching career or anything like that. This is all going to be about Sheffield Eagles and the Great Britain side of things. So, because uh, I can't wait to ask him about what's it like playing in Papua New Guinea. <laughs> yeah. Ah, smashing. Right. right. Have, some tea, uh, All right. We'll Have a great um, Christmas. We wish Merry everybody Christmas. a Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas. I don't know if we'll be on before it, but in case we're not, have a great Merry Christmas, guys. Yeah, thank you. For Enjoy. So we'll see you all. If we don't see you before, we'll see you all in the new year. Yeah, and thank you very much for all the support you've shown us over the year. It's been an amazing year. Thanks ever so much. And now I've got to get this put on YouTube. All right, take okay. care, mate. See you soon, guys. Good night. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.